Hey everyone, Meat Banana here with a epic face reveal. Um, not quite, uh, just playing around with Jerry AR's uh, player body um, mod. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to, to go for more of an interpersonal uh, devlog this time. So what have we got this week? Uh, well, I got carried away with a, a little side task here and ended up redoing the audio for... Um, pretty much every single uh, AR, and uh, I've, as you can see here, I've got a couple different types uh, of AR here, and we'll kind of uh, go through them and, and explain the the sound changes, and you'll be able to hear them uh, yourselves as well. We're going to be doing a lot of shooting this devlog um, for various reasons, as you'll see. Um, so we'll uh, we'll get a volume check uh, down the road here, but. First things first, we're just going to start off with uh, handling sounds for all of these. Um, I've replaced slash redone all of the um, charging handle audio for all of our ARs. Uh, that's where a majority of the, you know, kind of distinctive firing sound comes from, um, along with, of course, the actual sounds of the shots. But um, the, the mechanical sound and feel of each rifle is a little bit different, um, and I'll kind of explain them as we go here. So, to start off, we have our um, bog standard M4, and this is using what I'm calling a mil-spec uh, sound set. Um, this is most similar to, um, you know, what you guys are used to, the existing module AR sound set, so here we go. Um, that's all the same, uh, but the shot sound is slightly different. All right. And then up next, we have the uh, what I'm calling the mil-spec old. Um, this is pretty much exclusively just on the M16A1. Uh, it's our, our oldest and, quite frankly, only old receiver of the bunch. Um, and this is what it sounds like. A uh, little bit springier, uh, perhaps, than than the old one. Uh, just, I, I, I like how it's got a little bit more rattle and uh, wear, worn-in sound to it. Uh, let's lock the bolt back and drop it. There we go. Uh, up next is our civilian sound set, as I'm calling it. Uh, just uh, a little bit, I'm not sure if clackier is the right word, but... Lock the bolt. There we go. Um, and then I also have this uh, full auto BCM that we'll, uh, we'll listen to in, in full auto so you can really hear what it sounds like. But Yes, that's that MLE lower there. And then, last but not least, um, I have the Radian Model 1, uh, this time with a brand new 8.5-inch handguard for um, 300 blackout builds. Uh, I figured the 14.5 was good for 5.56, but, you know, it's such a cool handguard. Uh, it's the only monolithic handguard that we have, so I figured, what's one more length, right? Uh, and we've got that kitted out here in in the the brown deserty color for our Arizona setting 
but uh, this is what I'm calling the Gucci sound set. Um, it's an like it's like a over lubed, super smooth, silent buffer spring type setup. Just locked back. All right, we've got the DD4 using the Gucci sound set. So let's uh, let's hear what that sounds like. There we go. Um, yeah, uh, to me, this is like, that's how I want my ARs to sound. Super, super smooth. But um, we will jump over to some firing now, and we will go over some uh, additional differences, um, especially regarding barrel length as well. So I'm going to kill the lights, and it's going to get real dark. All right. So... Uh, Lights are out, uh, it's a little bit darker over here, uh, and that is because we are going to be looking at muzzle flash. Um, City Robo and I uh, decided that, you know, just setting the scale of the muzzle flash on the barrel isn't enough. We need math. Uh, so now muzzle effect scales based on barrel length, and it also applies to muzzle devices that have been attached. Um, so what's probably the best way to show this off? I think probably this this BCM here. We'll we'll rip this off, um, and we'll just kind of go for a. Um, we'll drop this down to like a four inch handguard, and we'll just um, kind of work our way down from the longest barrel. So here's uh, 24 inches of barrel, and uh, and what that. Uh, muzzle flash looks like. So it's pretty small. Um, which one would expect out of a crazy long barrel? You get all, all your powder burn, just a little bit of flash at the end there. Uh, we have a 20 inch. It's already just a little bit bigger. Um, let's jump a few steps and go down to a 16 inch. Bigger yet again. Uh, we'll do our standard 14.5, uh, and we'll, we'll kind of call that our our standard muzzle flash for for an M4. Uh, and then let's drop it down to a 10.5. Uh, this is kind of like your your Mark 18 length barrel. Already uh, getting quite a bit more flash here. Um, so let's go even further. Let's drop it down to, you know, 7.5. We're in like the 300 blackout range. That's, uh, that's quite a bit of flash. And if we go all the way crazy mode down to three inches, we get all the flash in the world. Um, now, like I said, this also scales with muzzle devices. Um, we've got the, uh, this is the Cobalt Kinetics Professional uh, muzzle brake. Uh, let's put this on like a 14.5. Again, kind of go back to our, our control control length here. Um, this has a pretty, a pretty subtle muzzle flash. You can just barely see it in uh, through those ports there. Uh, but let's drop this down to something like a, uh, let's do the 10.5 again. See how much larger that is. Uh, I'm running the uh, stovepipe mod, so that is the, the cause behind all these, these stoppages. All right, so we can see uh, it's a little bit more visible through there. And then if we drop it down to the uh, silly three-incher here, uh, this muzzle brake is pretty useless at hiding flash now. Awesome. Um, so that that's kind of the the scalability of of muzzle flash uh, and, and barrel length. Um, but another uh, 
kind of ridiculous one that I wanted to show off. Um, I, I, I briefly mentioned in a previous, you know, very early devlog, this Dead Air Pyro having an absolutely insane muzzle flash. Um, but since the Radian uh, spawns with the... Um, let me take these iron sights off here. Um, since the Radian spawns with the Dead Air Flash Hider, um, and we now have two barrel lengths for it, or handguard lengths, I should say, let's jump up to a 14.5 barrel... 14.5 handguard, and we'll we'll throw this uh, <laughs> this dead air pyro on. But we should get a we should get a control again for our 14.5 inch muzzle flash. Pretty moderate, pretty moderate with this uh, with this flash hider. Um, however, we put the dead air pyro on. And. Uh, I think that's going off screen. I can't can't quite tell. <laughs> the 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 flash on this thing is ridiculous. That's that's got to be at least a couple feet uh, in total. Uh, let's drop this down to a an 8.5, and we'll throw like a nine inch barrel on it. There we go. Uh, again, control base with the uh, the flash hider. And let's put that dead air pyro on there again. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna have to back up for that one. Sweet. <laughs> I'm blind, mostly. Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to put this on a three inch barrel. I'm gonna leave that for you guys to try out um, quite literally at your own uh, caution. It is so bright. Um, anyways, that's kind of everything for this devlog. Just wanted to, uh, show off the, the new sound sets and the distinct barrel length scaling, um, bunch of cool stuff just kind of helps increase that depth of customizability, making each choice you make, uh, just that little bit more important, that little bit more, uh, personalized for your, for your rifle. So, uh, that's it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.